For centuries, artists were very well inspired by the wonders of nature. On that note, today our Im Yun Hee is here to talk about a few exhibitions featuring artists who have been inspired by, if we may add, the colors of the wind. Right, exactly. Right? So, right. so from early 19th century painters to artists who are still at it today, I took a look at a few exhibitions that feature work from artists who aim to recreate the great outdoors. So take a look. Nature. It's a source of inspiration for many. But the Normandy coast in France has been a particular favorite for some of history's most acclaimed artists. From the Impressionist paintings of Claude Monet to the realist works of Gustave Courbet, the shores of Normandy have been at the center of many timeless masterpieces. The gallery gives a look into the role of Normandy and the development of modern landscape painting. It may look like a snapshot of a serene landscape, but take a closer look and you'll see the layers of paint that artist Yi Kwang Ho has meticulously woven together. Instead of the beach, Yi looks to mountainous landscapes colored with trees for his artistic inspiration. The natural forest landscape I think of is very primitive, like Jeju Island's cherished landscape, so I drew the forest like that. Another artist who values the beauty of nature. Ryu Ho Yeol finds inspiration in the movements of nature. But instead of working with paint, he's turned to media and technology to create these living works of art. And that's exactly what they look like. Each screen bursts to life in an eerie yet mesmerizing way. An imaginary world is possible, and in this world, parts can also be excluded. There is a division between reality and the imaginary, so I chose the color white. There's something soothing about the rustling of leaves, whether they be real or the result of some figment of an artist's imagination. Wow, I was looking at that uh, piece of art, the video uh, artwork that right. he did, and I was thinking, I was. I think I was thinking, is that real or did he design right? it? Or, right. And I think that's what he's going for with hmm. that one. So with this exhibition, it's very interesting. Actually, um, it was originally going to be closed on the 16th of this month, but they extended it uh, due to its popularity. So I actually had to call quite a few times to get a date because they kept pushing it back. And hmm. I feel like they're going to keep pushing it back. I right. guess people are finding this winter wonderland-like thing very, very inspiring. Mm -hmm. And the first exhibition, you say, it was a collection of many collection from many different right. artists. Mm -hmm. So these are works collected from over six different artists. Now, uh, this exhibition is also re really interesting because, you know, uh, muse, I mean, artists find their muse in a lot of a people, but this one, the artists find their muse in Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. And so you can really see how, how beautiful they are. Um, and so Normandy, like you heard in the report, was a huge influence on the painters at that time. And these painters went on to be uh, influenced on other painters as well. So a very important exhibition to check out. And so this collection was uh, created, curated by the uh, chief director of the Musée Malheureux row of France, which is a very important hmm. museum as well because they have one of the most important collections of landscape inspiration, uh, in, in, uh, landscape impressionist paintings. Mm -hmm. And so this is a very important exhibition that has a lot of very uh, meaningful works there. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Uni, for introducing us to uh, two very uh, meaningful and quite interesting exhibitions today. It's always a pleasure.